Not everyone featuring song with a young boy had a hit. Maybe. Um, okay. But aside from Yeet, I want to talk about Destroy Lonely. I think that he's literally on top at this point. He's like the most influential in the underground, I'd say. I think that's why there's so many clones. Like so many people send me promos and whatnot. And I'm like, bro, you literally sound like Destroy Lonely, Dom Corleo clone. And Dom Corleo is almost like a, you know, a <laughs> clone alone, influenced by at least, you know? And so I think that the new underground sound, as we've discussed, like the little black core, tumbler core, whatever it's called, like the hard rock, one thrash, salsa silhouette. Am I missing somebody? I think I am. That's all that that is if we're looking at an evolutionary chain, it comes from Destroy Lonely. So I think that before Ken Carson and Sofago were kind of the most influential, before Yeet, of course. Uh with like the rage movement and with like project x and then off the map by so fig of course trippy and cardi too but if we're talking strictly underground but now the new wave the new underground sound is the underneath lone sound so i i just think that he's on top and i can tell by the engagement like if you go to any instagram post with destroy lonely it just like blows up like 6k bro 6k likes okay this is how I tell who's really popping right now. It, it doesn't, it's not a foolproof system, but this is this is how I do it. We just test it on Twitter and Instagram, see who's relevant. Okay, so loan is 6K. We wanna go to Ken, 4.8K. <laughs> Yeet, 4.6K. Now, granted, Yeet's a bigger artist. He's like practically mainstream at this point, but I'm just saying like, Destroy Lonely got that little it factor at this point. Uh, he everybody just wants to see him in person he almost got like a little rare type vibe going on just like cardi because he don't really say much whereas ken carson he be tweeting but and he, he deletes it but he's just, he's just more active in general and he'd be posting more snippets i feel like destroy lonely doesn't really post snippets on tumblr maybe or snapchat or something but ken's really the one that be posting hella snippets or previewing them again on instagram live or a story but i see a lot of leaks by destroyed lonely so i just think that loan is like really playing it super well the past couple years that's why he's surpassing everybody also he's just got the music like he's he's just very talented i'm not trying to be like on his dick but you know is loan bigger than yeet no 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 loan is not bigger than yeet it, it also plays like the demographic because I don't know as we've discussed before yeet because he's gotten to a certain level like a lot of the underground fans that follow this page they now don't want to listen to yeet because you know they, they don't want to listen to anything that's mainstream like it's it's a it's a thing bro once the mainstream audience starts listening to something like people get embarrassed to listen to it as well i'll still listen to yeet i think people still listen to it by themselves but you know they're publicly they don't want to admit it sometimes and yeah, if, if looks could kill snippet 1 million views, is that on uh, TikTok or Destroy Lonely if looks could kill? So I think this is a album title and a snippet. Correct me if I'm wrong, because someone in the comments said it wasn't his album, but I'm pretty sure it was. But regardless, even if it's just a single. Look, okay, so 1.2 million, Jesus Christ, man. This is what I'm saying. He's got like a little mini Cardi effect going on. His songs, who, who, or what artist in this generation has a snippet, a remastered snippet that's looped at a mill views? Tell me, this is some like Mr. Rage type situation. So when this song drops, it's probably gonna have a huge budget because it already, he performed it. The TikTok blew up and went viral. Uh, it's probably gonna have a huge music video. I don't know, they're gonna push it. I think uh, his last album, No Stylist, was on Billboard, like number 91 or something like that. So yeah, man, high expectations. I think he's gonna be like the next Yeet. I don't know if he's gonna hit 34K necessarily, the next project, 
but like he's he's gonna be the next one who really steps outside of this this lane and actually sells at least considerably well at least like 10 15 you know and he might get some big features i feel like lone is respected otherwise by people outside he's not mainstream yet for sure or not he's still like i don't know about underground but like he's still kind of below the surface he's underwater he's not underground ken and lone are both mainstream to me they've both hit billboard i don't even know we got to look this up we got to get the official definition of what mainstream means it means the ideas attitudes or activities that are regarded as normal or conventional the dominant trend in opinion fashion or arts so i don't know if lone and like this lane is really conventional like Uzi's conventional like i know like if you were to go with your irl friends every single one of them if they've even heard the name lil uzi vert they actually have i, I know they have Whereas Destroy Lonely, like he's not mainstream. He's getting there, but like, nah, nah. Now Playboy Cardi isn't even as mainstream as Uzi. And main, being the, being mainstream doesn't necessarily mean that you're streaming that well too. Cause there are artists who are probably mainstream like the baby, but like their sales wise, they are doing less than underground artists. Like Lucky, who's not underground, but you get what I'm saying. Like mainstream is kind of like a, an awareness thing. It's not necessarily a sales thing. And I think that there can be songs on Billboard. I know we've discussed this in the past and we tried to put like a boundary as to if it hits Billboard, they're mainstream. But like at the same time, <clears throat> there can be songs that nobody even knows who you are that are that that get on Billboard or are super high. And but like they, they don't know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like they're underground artists or, or like so one one thing is like Armani White, I, you know that Billie Eilish TikTok song? Like he, that song went mainstream, but like he's not necessarily mainstream, right? I wouldn't consider him, like if someone were to see him on the street, they wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, that's that Billie Eilish guy. If they heard Billie Eilish though, they'd be like, that's the Billie Eilish song. Your, your brand name makes you more mainstream than your numbers do. I agree with that totally. Bob Cardi literally has 10 different TikTok sounds trending, you tweaking. Um, trending how? He's a large artist, so of course, like you're gonna see it on your For You page probably, but trending, like is it actually on the top 10 like list that TikTok puts there? I don't think so. But I would say Cardi is relatively mainstream. I was comparing him to Uzi though. But again, that doesn't necessarily mean numbers wise. Uzi, Uzi is a a much more widely known name than Playboy Cardi, but that's just the way that they market themselves. Uzi's like, you know, he dresses more conventionally, like he looks like a celebrity, whereas Cardi, like he's a grunge guy. That is usually associated with like more underground stuff, but they're pushing the boundaries on fashion and whatever.